Hey, what's up guys? It's Graphic Phoenix back with another video today. And today, after many, many weeks of waiting, the day has finally come where my shrimp have finally arrived. Now I'm going to say a couple things before I get this package opened. I'm going to say first off, as of right now, thanks to ShrimpFever.com for sending me some shrimp. Uh, if you guys want to check them out, I'll leave a link down below. And he ships Canada-wide, I believe. And as far as I know, he has great quality, but I'll definitely talk more about him after I send this. However, there's one thing that I'm a little concerned about. And generally when you order a package in the mail, you know, they ring their doorbell or it comes USPS or whatever. They ring your doorbell saying, hey, here's a package. Well, that's what I was expecting all day today. And I go to pick up the mail from the mailbox and I find this package in there. So I don't know how long it's been in there for. Hopefully all the shrimp are still okay, but we're gonna find out. That's why this is all gonna be live. So in case anything goes wrong, I have evidence of any shenanigans. Obviously you wanna be careful opening the package. Never cut towards yourself like I'm doing right now. But do as I say, not as I do. So that is good, it is insulated. That's kind of what my fear was that they were going to be way too hot. But here's his card Tommy Lamb, shrimpfever.com. And you can also follow them on Facebook. And let's see how these guys are doing. Now, I did order 30 carbon rillies. So, upon initial inspection, there's nothing dead it doesn't look like I'm gonna take a sec to look in here and just make sure nope so they all look good I didn't see any dead in there so that's awesome I'm gonna get these guys acclimatized by keeping them in a tub and then slowly dripping water into there these are neocaridina species so they're not quite as sensitive as other types but they're still sensitive nonetheless so I'm gonna drip acclimate them for probably 20 minutes or so. So I don't have any airline tubing, so all I'm doing is just taking a few scoopfuls of my own water from my tank and pouring it in there with them. This is because I don't have any airline tubing. Don't ask me how I don't have any, I don't. But this is the next best thing. I'm gonna leave them in there for probably 10 minutes or so, let them acclimate, do a little bit more, and then I'll come back to you when I add them to the tank. And here we are. We got all the shrimp in the tank. It's about 25, 30 minutes later. And this is the 10 gallon ADA shrimp tank that I set up. So most definitely some things has changed. There are a couple new plants in here. There's, they're not doing so hot, but that one right there, that one there, and that one there are all Bucephalophandra, I don't, I really have no idea how to pronounce it, but they're essentially a plant species from Borneo, and I believe I mentioned them in another video, but I'm mentioning them again. So, so far everything is doing quite well, and it, as you can see, there are actually a couple cherry reds in there. I threw those in there just to see how the tank was doing. None of them ended up dying, so I don't know if I'm going to leave them in there or if I'm going to move them to my other tank. I'm pretty sure I'm going to move them though, just to get them out of here so I can have this up here carbon really tank. So down there is the Macranthemum, the Monte Carlo, um, Baby Tears, I don't really know exactly what it's called, what the common name is called, but it's doing pretty darn well right now. Uh, it's growing, there is some hair algae problems in the tank, that's why I actually have three of the auto cats in there, because they're not going to harm the shrimp and they'll certainly do their job cleaning up the algae. As you can see up there, the Ludwigia is doing great. Over here, the Trident Java Fern is also doing amazing. The Flame Moss is also doing great, as you can see. 
all that there, that down there, as well as up there. It's all doing fantastic, which makes me super happy. The brown crip, which is right there, is doing pretty good. I had no melting issues or anything with it, so that works great for me. I'm super stoked about that. So I'm going to post a picture right now. And you can see exactly how much the tank has changed. Everything is growing in quite a lot and it's all looking great. It's all coming together. Now I started this tank on May 13th and I'm adding shrimp. It is currently June 24th. A month? Like just about six weeks or so and added the new shrimp. So that gives you an idea of how long it took to cycle. I'll tell you something right now. Um, there was one shrimp in here that wasn't doing so hot. So the 31 shrimp that I got total will probably be 30, but that's exactly what I ordered. So I'm very happy with shrimp fever. Uh, I'll leave a link on the screen right now and you can go check them out. If you're in Canada, of course, he all, he does ship Canada-wide and if you're in the States, he does not ship to the States, I don't think. But he's got a whole line of products, he's got plants, he's got a whole bunch of stuff, so definitely go check him out. I hope you guys enjoy the shrimp tank update and hopefully in the near future here I can update you guys again with maybe like a two or three month update and see if the shrimp have multiplied or anything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this shrimp video. The auto sinkless have not stopped zipping around and being distracting, but the shrimp look like they're doing fantastic, so I'm going to let them do their thing. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did in fact enjoy the video, leave the comment carbon in the comments down below, as well as any questions, comments, concerns, anything you want me to address. I will have a reptile video coming up very soon here, and I hope everybody will enjoy that. It is a semi-big update, so stick around for that. If you liked the video, of course, drop a like down below, and subscribe to my channel for more plant, reptile, and fish-slash-shrimp awesomeness. Thanks for watching, guys. Graphic Phoenix, out of here.